वी आर हियर टू फॉर द एना प्लान टेक्निकल ट्रेनिंग सो नाउ वी विल लेट स्टार्ट विद अवर टू टू डेज एजेंडा सो वी आर गोइंग विद द एना प्लान सो नाउ वॉट इज एना प्लान आई विल स्टार्ट विद द बेसिक सो एना प्लान इज जनरली अ प्रोडक्ट बेस्ड कंपनी सो इट इज अमेरिकन बेस्ड अमेरिकन प्लानिंग सॉफ्टवेयर कंपनी इट इट इज बेसिकली हेडक्वार्टर्ड इन द कैलिफोर्निया सेंट फ्रांसिस्को it sells sub- subscription for cloud based business planning software and provides data for decision making purposes so unlike other enterprise performance management solutions which tend to stick with finance like many of the uh, technologies suppose oracle and sap many are, many of these technologies uh, provide solution only in the finance but ena plans advantage is it is designed in such a way that you can plan and model for all the departments such as financial planning and accounting trade promotion management budgeting and erp that is enterprise resource planning so in the main advantage of enap plan is you can create your model or provide solution to the client for all the different different domains we are into the fast moving industries where industries work in the multiple domains so you cannot stick cannot stick only to finance so this is the main advantage of enap plan like you can provide solution to clients in multiple departments enap plan is cloud based planning tool where you budget or forecast data according to your needs so what so basically in the ena plan it's a cloud based tool its main advantage is you can access it from anywhere even from mobile phone laptop tablet smartphone you just need to uh, type this url enaplan.com and it will be open so you to access the ena plan you need to buy or purchase the cloud uh, space from the ena plan company without it you cannot access, uh, access the ena plan so for that you need to buy the workspace now what is workspace so i see you can see the chart or the pic, uh, picture so workspace is a combination of models suppose i buy 50 gb of workspace from the ena plan so 50 gb means i can cre- create ena plan model up to 50 gb so it now it's more my choice i will create one model 50 gb or create a five models of 50 gb of 10 10 gb each so it depends on the customer requirement or software requirement minimum you need to buy 20 and minimum ena plan sells 20 gb of the workspace and maximum it's 130 gb so it's uh, you can say it's sub- there is some demerit like uh, the model size cannot be 130 gb so it can be a demerit also or merit also demerit is size of the model cannot go beyond 130 gb and the, its merit is if the size of the model is low so its scalability increases its performance it increases its uh, its, uh, its speed get increases processing speed so this was just a quick introduction of the ena plan uh, in in ena plan we can create models under one workspace it depends on model size as i, as I mentioned like there can be multiple workspaces but for a single organization or, uh, there is one workspace suppose if if we have, we are creating two models and each model has a size of 150 gb each or 120 gb each so you need to buy two workspaces one one workspace for 120 gb one model and second workspace is for another model so basically it's a combination of workspace is a combination of model and for workspace you need to buy uh, for workspace access or cloud access you need to buy cloud from the ena plan so this was the quick introduction of the ena plan what we are trying to do and what is workspace and, and the model now our course curriculum means what we are trying to cover the topics what will be our agenda of the course so we will start with ena plan basics now like basics as in what is ena plan what is its workflow uh, we will go with this ui how we can operate the ena plan how to log in to ena plan generally ena plan you just need your user id and password so this is the login process of the ena plan you can access it from anywhere uh, like what is the workspace admin accesses what is single sign on we will go go from the everything so we will cover ena plan basic list and roll up so list are just the dimensions of the ena plan like list contains the master data master data is in the data which is fixed which cannot be changed for a long time that is the master data we also have various kind of list we will discuss further uh, over the same modules modules contains transaction data transaction data is in which changes daily or change frequently so we we use our master data list into our modules as a dimension and we will it acts as a grid and that grid grids get published to dashboard on which ultimately our end user or our client operates so this is the modules we will go to the blueprint view what is blueprint view blueprint view contains the backend of the ena plan backend of the modules like what are the summary setting how the data can be presentable how we will create the chart how uh, the summary settings like how or the time settings how what kind of data is presentable like in the week manner or the month manner or you want to see the data daily or yearly or weekly so everything will be covered in the blueprint now links and formulas this is the most important topic of the enaplan links and formulas because in every technology we need to apply logic so in the enaplan there is not much coding is not there we have formulas so 
formula helps us to fetch data from one module to another so list one list from the another it contains n of them contains n number of formulas of different different domains such as financial for sector finance for call center planning for sales planning it contains all the predefined formulas we just need to use it now data import in every ui or every in every technology we need to import the data we can just or either we can write uh, data by we can enter data by by just entering the data from the keyboard or we can fetch data from different different source your source is oracle or you want to fetch data into an aplan so you can pull the data from the oracle to an aplan and suppose your destination is something else like sap or oracle or you want to pull the push the data from an aplan to oracle or something else so you need export process for the same if you want to import the, uh, pull the data you use import process if we want to push the data into other technology for source it views export process now dashboard dashboard is the one of the most important thing as i mentioned generally our client or end user they don't know about list module they don't know nothing they are naive users so they only know about dashboard dashboard contains all uh, contents like charts pictures what can be uh, it's a like a front end front end design we publish whatever we perform calculation onto the back end we publish publish onto the dashboard or onto a dashboard uh, end user perform activities like entering their budgeting analyze the past performance of particular queues or product based on the part past performance budget or forecast their data for the future use end user also can use we as a developer can create chart based on the time or based on anything and can publish on the dashboard so that it it becomes more presentable for the end user now security so it is a one of the most important aspect like security is most important thing like no one can access everything like uh, if a cfo level guy or ceo level guy do, don't need to don't want to access lower level of data or the normal employee don't uh, employee of one organization don't uh, we don't have authorization to access the data of other organization so we implement security in such a way that there is no breach of any kind of information now workflow and model map Workflow and model map is nothing but a schema, pro, uh, schema and workflow like how the data is flowing from one model to another or one source to another source. It's just a workflow. Enaplan add-in. Enaplan add-in is like we have created add-ins like Excel add-in and PowerPoint add-in. It acts as like we can whatever data or modules data contained in modules. Suppose a user is not familiar with the Enaplan and his data and his data is into the Enaplan and he is familiar with the Excel, so he can download the Excel add-in. Or Excel and Aplan add-in. After downloading Excel and Aplan add-in, uh, in the uh, in the ribbon section of the Excel, that Aplan add-in is visible. After logging into it, he can fetch any of the model or modules data from the Aplan to its Excel. So this is the most powerful feature of the Aplan. Project development, deployment. So deployment as in after creating the project. Uh, generally, we create uh, we have two uh, two environment like development and production environment. whatever developers or enterprise model builder create they create in the uh, de- uh, de- development mode and after creating everything they push changes in, into the production mode so we push the process is called deployment and we do deployment on the basis of alm application life cycle management it it is generally a creating connection between two models and pushing the data from the development to production now after covering all these things we will concentrate on the model model case study how much you have learned as a student or as a trainee we will create a model case study i will give you a case study and uh, we will check we will see that how how much you have learned and we, we will get the hands on practice on the same we will build a case study and we will, we will re- review the case study so this was the basic course curriculum of the enaplan what will you going to perform in the next couple of days so i will introduce the enaplan training introduction As you know it's a 15 hour training program for now reach we can pick a time of in the isp 7 pm to 8 pm isp and this course includes as i mentioned in the previous slides list and type of list like we can have multiple list like flat list to hierarchical list and what is hierarchical list suppose you are running an fmcg company so fmcg company sells that sells its products across the multiple region or multiple globe so we we will have a particular country name then its region name and then its product name Uh, and uh, or brand name sub brand name product name so all are the hierarchy so these are the list uh, these are the type one of the type of list we have many list like uh, plate list like it contains only the name of item without any hierarchy and now modules as i mentioned we have bl- blueprint to pivoting now what is pivoting so 
we have, suppose we have a table so some data is in the time is in the rows and uh, days are in the columns and suppose we want to add one more one more dimension in the two dimension we can add, we can't add any, anything but analysis multi dimensional so we can add other dimension is on the page axis page as in means uh, uh, from the upper side of the table and from there user can change uh, the item and view the data pivoting means we can interchange those rows and columns and page axis so this is the pivoting now dashboard where it data has it has two types old ux and new ux so recently one year back anaplan introduced a new ux dashboard it uh, functionality is you can access the dashboard from the android app or iphone app so as a cfo level people or ceo level people cto people level people level people so they can general they directly access or see the company's performance uh, via uh, anaplan app using new ux security permissions as i mentioned it is uh, excellent feature of access permission uh, user cannot see the can see only relevant data and cannot make changes unless he is authorized to formulas we and apply a major kind of formulas and functions major kind of formulas and functions and can uh, create the modules and create the line items according to it and uh, if different different domains such as financial planning trade promotion and management call center planning everything now in a plan training in the market what is in a plan provides into the market so generally successful companies use enterprise scale planning solutions and in a plan is the best tool for that i will explain why because it provide rapid development deployment enhancement capabilities attract quick business adoption across the company so generally in a plan use agile methodology now i will explain what is agile methodology in uh, suppose we have a long project of one month we divide our project into sprints what now what are sprints sprints uh, we, we divide our project requirement into couple of sprints and we cannot go into sprint two unless we complete the sprint one and completed your user, user expect, accept, acceptance testing unless everything is logged into sprint sprint one we will not go into sprint two so this is the agile methodology so this is the most important methodology we use for the end clients and the users are also good with this agile methodology so we use this one into the ana plan now it provides collaboration and connected planning capabilities keep the models in sync so like as we mentioned in the alm application life cycle management what we do is connect two models uh, development and production so this is this is what it provides connected planning we can connect the two models and transfer the data from from one model to another model uh, use and sync uh, and create a sync between both of them uh, multiple business users from worldwide uh, working on similar tasks simultaneously collaborate collaboratively and no need to uh, share spreadsheets earlier b- before in a plan era we need to uh, create spreadsheet uh, add our data into spreadsheet and then uh, pull data into something else system but in the in a plan era we don't need to we, we need nothing we have if we have in a plan we need nothing we just uh, enter our data into the in a plan and see the result and now we can see in a plan in a plan use in multiple domains uh, you can see in the chart like supply chain hr finance sales planning sales planning and operation demand planning sales forecasting marketing performance territory planning quota modeling quota management compensation planning or talent strategy workforce planning in the nutshell we can say that we can use in a plan in each and every domain unlike the other tools like they use only finance uh, finance plan or finance part but in this in a plan we can use for all the domains so in a plan training certifications now what are these if you want to be a model in a plan model builder you need to complete at least two certification that is level 1 and level 2 uh, level 1 con- contains a case study of a financial finance planning level 2 contains a case study of supply chain and management so if you want to be an aplan model builder certification you need to complete at least level 1 level and level 2 now what is level 3 level 3 contains the domain of sales performance and management we have in the level 1 we have done financial planning in the level 2 we have done the supply chain and management in the level 3 we are uh, we will comp- learn sales performance management how the sales perform how do we manage it so these are the three most important le- certification if you are done with all the le- le- l1 l2 l3 Uh, you are through with the uh, you will get any any kind of job in, into the nap literally now another sol- solution i get it this is the one of the high level certification you can't complete this unless you are done with level 3 you can't then do level 3 unless you are done with level 2 so bo- all are inter- interconnected another solution i get it this is means one of the most le- reputed sol- sol- certification into the nap plan industry and now last is master nap planner if you are done with master nap planner that means you are you know everything about nap plan you are the master as the world says and if you are master and a planner 
you can fetch any kind of job into the nap plan with with very good compensation across the globe so these are the five certifications of the nap plan but again i am repeating if you are done with level 3 or even level 2 you are through to get any kind of job but if you want to learn more more you can go for master nap plan there but at least level 2 is mandatory for the nap plan so now after completing the training from the mind magic you will get the certification of from the mind magic certification of achievements uh, you, you will get your name with the date you will get the certification id which is which will be proper authorized from the mind magic you will also get the proper signature of our director and everything so this is your certification you will get after completing the training courses and uh, from the mind magic and one more thing after completing the nap plan training certification courses you will get the certification for nap plan nap plan side also which will be having validity of at least i think 2 years in every 2 years you need to enhance your skills because many of the certifications you will give you the validity of lifetime but suppose if you done with level 1 and you and after that you, do, you don't even test the nap plan so you chances is you, you will forget the what is level 1 certification so to enhance your skills properly you need to uh, renew your certification in every 2 years so that nap plan will check you from everything every perspective so you will get a certification from nap plan also and from mind magic also now nap plan training like what will we we cover into the nap plan training some of the i have covered random topics like these are the most important topics like lists uh, modules security dashboards import and export actions and processes now we have covered everything like list module security dashboard import export till now everything is in from the high level we will go deep dive deep dive into our further further training program but we have covered the at least you are uh, you know the what 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 are these but what are action and processes action means every time suppose uh, if you, uh, every time a user want to enter data or pull a data from particular module so he he want go to open op- open the module and check the numbers and enter into particular module again and again so we will create a one time action action and uh, we will do it everything a one time create a mapping between our source and destination module this is all the one time once everything is settled and mapped now we just need to uh, run the particular button and all the data from the source module to the destination module get fetched so this is the work of action now now what is process process is a combination of action suppose or we can say so action is a file and process is a folder in our layman term process is a combination of action suppose you want to run two actions simultaneously so you don't need to don't need to uh, click on two buttons one by one you just need to create, uh, click on one process button both the actions automatically get get run so this is our action and processes now in a plan training a project like what kind of projects i have worked on so i have worked on couple of nap plan projects in my 3 years of experience till now so first was project 1 it was a financial planning project so this was a total development project like we developed everything from the scratch and the do- it was a smcg company highly reputed in the north america so client wanted to forecast their profit and loss data based on previous month sales like what i mentioned nap plan is just general use for forecasting of data but on the base of previous month like we are previous month or previous year like we are right now we are into the april 2021 and we want to the forecasting for may 2021 so either client can go for uh, the sales report of may 2020 or they can go for the previous quarter or they can go for the previous week so nap plan provides everything to um, for the forecasting uh, actual and we have created actual and forecasting actual and forecasting uh, list hierarchies and imported master data now you know what is master data like it list into it and use that master data into the modules is a dimension on now based on that we imported the transaction data against every sku and build pnl report now this is a technical for you so i will explain what is it now you are good with the list you know the you know list so we have created two hierarchical list one for uh, planning or forecasting and one for actual now we have two hierarchies and that hierarchies contains the hierarchy of the company like sub brand name brand name sku name product name company name country name region name so we have the like 10 to 12 region, uh, levels of hierarchy of both the hierarchy now we use this hierarchy into our modules we which are which are the master data like as i mentioned master data is changed very 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 rarely and modules are the transaction data which change frequently so we use this master data into our modules into transaction data and created a formula 
or we can uh, created the formulas for different different pnl like for the gross sales value formula is this one and for for the total uh, or for the net sales value the formula is like gsc plus something else so we have created the formula for all the pnl reports based on time month and publish onto the dashboard uh, publish everything onto the dashboard so that you, uh, end user can see everything on the dashboard and we also prepared the chart for the for, for the same so that it gives a presentable manner so this was our first project second one was also financial fpa project like financial planning analysis project so this was support project from fpa this was for particular university so our sow statement of work was to solve user access request ticket from a portal and taking timely backup model backups without any breach of sla sla means service level agreement so now i will explain what is it so as i mentioned enna plan have security all cannot see everything so we used to get a tickets from the particular portal like particular user need access to access only to this data particular user wants don't want to see the this data or particular user want to see both the data or a particular user want to see everything we need to get this kind of tickets and we solved it we used to solve it and second is model backups what is model backups like unfortunately our enable model gets deleted unfortunately so we can retrieve it retrieve it using the what using the that using the backup so we used to take daily backup of the model because suppose if for data transaction data gets deleted and something some miss happens or the server gets hacked or crashed so we can use the data uh, what we have took the backup uh, till the last uh, last working day so this was our second project now what is the third project it was based on trade promotion and management it is also one of the domain of the enaplan or industry this was also a development project uh, uh, from the trade promotion management domain for one of the fmcg client wanted to promote their product or skew and wanted to check a profit and loss report after giving discount so like uh, in the fmcg there are many products or skews which go unsold or which have the very low sales so they wanted to create a promotion or giving a discount like one on one discount or give the give the product but couple of products free on the large purchase or wanted to give sachet free to the uh, users so to get the product promoted so they they used this technique into the ana plan uh, and wanted to track everything that whatever they are promoting how it is impacting their sales so this was three projects that we have done into the ana plan till now one of the most important thing uh, pre requisite and system requirement of the ana plan so ana plan has uh, like most advantageous thing is you can access ana plan from anywhere as i mentioned so still the the latest version of mo- latest modern browser is recommended for ana plan experience like uh, internet explorer mozilla firefox google chrome microsoft edge apple safari i personally use google chrome i will recommend google chrome but you can use you can use anything now second is ana plan is designed to run using today's typical network connection speed like you can use ana plan from you don't need to uh, need need any vpn or connection or any vdi connection vdi connection virtual desktop interface or uh, vpn virtual private network you can access ana plan using your normal wifi mobile hotspot from everything so this is the most advantageous thing secondly at least you need a windows 7 and 4 gb ram is recommended for the ana plan that is i am saying this because uh, if you have the typical old old uh, system of win- uh, 2 gb ram and windows xp So and and Anaplan also will run on that also, but it won't give you proper experience or visible experience. It will load very slowly. So I will recommend at least Windows 7. You can have Windows 10, Windows 8, everything, but at least Windows 7 is recommended with a 4 GB of RAM. So this was the normal Anaplan training setup, lab setup. Now Anaplan training additional course resources. So this is one of the D merit of the Anaplan. Like and uh, there is no content of the Anaplan onto the internet. Uh, only content is enapedia like enapedia is the wikipedia of enaplan you can get not everything but couple of con- concepts of the enaplan like formulas and basic concept on the enapedia but uh, there is no as such a pro- proper handwritten notes or any youtube videos of the enaplan of the enaplan onto the youtube so this is one of the like, what we can say demerit there is lack of content on the internet still you can use enapedia so enapedia is the only source of ena- source for to study the enaplan so this is enaplan training of interview suppose you are done with your enaplan training So now what next? You will go for the job. So what kind of questions interview will you ask? 
this is a couple of random questions that i have been faced till on my interview like what is type of list we have already discussed we will also discuss into the into later uh, videos but i have just give, give, given you overview type of list you know the answer like we have uh, list like uh, flat list and uh, hierarchical list what is alm i have mentioned what is alm application life cycle management uh, connecting between two models we have why both type of an applan model we have not discussed this one but we will discuss further like we have deployed model production model normal model archived model different between security access and dca uh, what are views like we have subsidiary views and different different views into the naplan or modules what is summary summary as in what kind of on the what level of data you want to see the uh, what on the what level you want to see the data you can also switch off the summary to save the space we will discuss everything into our upcoming session like these are the basic uh, what we can say random questions uh, that i faced during my during my interviews so i guess we have covered the very high level overview of the ana plan so i think we are done with the introductory part so if you have any doubts regarding the subject or in a plan course or the timings or the any resource allocation you can uh, con- can be discussed with the mind magic or you can con- feel- please feel free to drop your query at the information at mindmagics.com you can also see the contact number for one for india one for us you can also email us and uh, i think we are done thank you so much for the for the for listening